Yes, and to your question, I would answer no, we are not ready yet. <laughs> uh, I think on different levels, but on the uh, if I have to talk on behalf of workers and the unions, we say no, we're far from, from being ready because we still do not have the workers that we need with the right skills and, and with the right training to take up this challenge. So more needs to be done to, as I say, um, redefine the education qualification framework to include those aspects. So now, the, it, it, this is what I was talking about when I say if there is no alignment between what is the objective in policies and what is then how it is translated then to become a reality into financing, for example, proper education program and packages. So there is a lot of potential, and but there is still this mismatch between you know what we need, what is available, and what workers are ready to, to uh, take up. So it's really like uh, we really need to invest invest more. And whose responsibility is that? Yeah, so so this is mainly at national and uh, company level. So it doesn't come from the EU. The EU can encourage uh, putting like resources available, funds available. But then it is a question of uh, national government, national authority to have the funds available. But also, as I say, use social dialogue. So you just put the partnership with uh, employers, company, and workers sitting at the table and define what the needs are. Uh, what the jobs, uh, job skills there are needed. So it's, um, I would say it's at workplace level, it's at local level, it's at national level, uh, and the EU can, as I say, it doesn't have the competence in, in education. It's more like a kind of compelling <laughs> and uh, encouraging uh, social partners at national level to talk to governments to reframe the concept. 